we present a new method to synthesize human animations from a single image. Given a single image, our goal is to create the human animations controlled by a sequence of body poses. Our method does not require any fine-tuning on the testing scene. We create human animation from a single source image and given target body poses. To this end, we first estimate the silhouette, gamut label, and body pose from the source image. And using them, we reconstruct complete UV maps of the garment and texture. We utilize these UV maps to create the pseudo maps which provide incomplete yet strong guidance to generate the person image in a temporally coherent way. Our post transfer network predicts the silhouette, garment labels, and the person image in series from the source data, pseudo map, and target poses. Finally, we blend the generated images with the in-painted background scenes. To reconstruct the complete UV maps, we first initialize them by warping the source data to the UV coordinate. However, the initial UV maps are incomplete, which prevent from creating the pseudo maps in the temporally coherent way. To complete these UV maps, we further combine the pixels from the synthesized images captured by many virtual views. For example, from the frontal view, we render T-Pose map, and then we produce the pseudo images by warping the pixels from the UV maps. Our post transfer network predicts the garment label and person image, and they are combined into coherent UV coordinates. We iterate this process for the six virtual viewpoints. Only for the back view, we apply the front back symmetry assumption. We compare our method to six recent works. PG generate a person image in a coarse to fine manner, where we use 3D people dataset to train this model. PPA refines the person image with pose attentional blocks. A scan selectively combines the multi-channel attention map to enhance the coarse generation. GFRA specially transforms the features from the source image to align with the target pose. NHRR employs the elant high dimensional UV feature map to decode the person's appearance. LWG propagates the source information to the target using SMP body model. Compared to the state of art, our method can better preserve the person identity and appearance in a temporally coherent way. We also evaluate the model trained from deep fashion by the author. Here, 3P means a newly trained model from 3D people synthetic data and DF and IPER mean a pre-trained model from deep fashion and IPER dataset by the authors. Note that the jitters arise mainly from the pulse estimation error only at the evaluation time. We further compare our method to the LWG on the scenes with background. We perform the evaluation study on our post-transfer network. First, we study the effect of each modular function. 
R uses only RenderNet to generate the person image from the body pose. GR is composed of GARnet and RenderNet, which predict the GARnet label and person image in cities. SR generates the person image without GARnet label prediction. SGR is our full model, which generates the silhouette, garment label, and person image in series, which shows the best performance. Next, we study the effect of using additional source data. For this, we remove the source silhouette and source garment label from the entire pipeline, where the network is highly confused without source garment label as input. Third, we studied the effect of using the pseudo-images and coherent UV maps. Here, our network predicts the person image without pseudo-image and without UV maps. We can notice that conditioning the pseudo-image warped from the coherent UV maps is a key enabling factor for the consistent person rendering. Here is a more result. Although our post-transfer network is trained from synthetic dataset, it is applicable to in-the-wild imagery without any fine-tuning on the testing scene. Our method makes a person perform the dancing or kicking using a only single still image. These animated photographs can be much more memorable than static image. As we can control the scale and location of the subject, it can bring out many applications for VR and AR entertainment and creating self-avatar from a single image in a second. As our method requires only a single image, we can easily change the person and we can change the background scenes as well. Thanks.